greetings, blurbs, and I have a confession to make. I've never actually played Rogue. Even though I've played so many Rogue likes and clones and kind of spin off y related things where Rogue is the obvious inspiration. But yeah, I've never gone back and played Rogue eh, for MS DOS. <laughs> and here it is, as I almost smashed the box into my PC. Yeah, I finally found a boxed copy of this. This took forever to track down. Uh, not only is it you know pretty sought after being the beginning of a genre, but it's also just a very vaguely named thing. You have to eliminate a lot of other games with the word Rogue in the title. Uh, so anyway, finally got a copy, complete-ish in the box. Yeah, 1985 Epic's MS-DOS PC release. I am pretty psyched to finally give this a shot. You know, I think I've tried it years and years and years ago, just very briefly to get some footage or just see if it ran or something. I don't remember. Or maybe it was one of the endless, like I said, clones and things, you know, there's all the hack games and all that kind of stuff. Uh, of course, door games and uh, all kinds of text things. So maybe I'm just remembering something else. I don't know. But anyway, this is just Rogue. So we're going to try it out. And uh, I, I seriously don't know anything about how to play this version of it. I'm just familiar with all of the rogue likes. Anyway, uh, just a briefly look at some of the things that came inside the box, or at least with my box here. This is the Epic's product catalog. Look at that. It's 1988 Olympics stuff in here. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a product catalog. It's a catalog of products. And yeah, they've got their joysticks, home software stuff. There's all the games they were selling at the time. And other things. Doesn't look like Rogue is even listed. <laughs> Intriguingly. But anyway. Uh, it did not actually come with a manual, so I had to print out a PDF. But, you know, eh, it's fine. It came together. I will definitely be needing this though, because this, just looking at like the, uh, you know, all these pages of like procedures for doing all sorts of things within the game. Like there's something, look at all these commands. This is just one of the reference commands and then it keeps on going and going and going. Is, is, is it autofocus even working? <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a lot here. Surprisingly so, for a, a text-based dungeon crawl kind of thing, you know, more than I was anticipating, really. Uh, it does not look a very, like a very intuitive, simple game whatsoever. So I dropped the disc on the floor. I am ill-prepared, but that is the blurbs. Uh, and so here we go. So this is uh, the original Rogue disc. It's got copy protection, so I'm gonna try running it off the disc. So it's got the notch there, so it is writable itself. I have already gone ahead and made an image of the original, but yeah, I'm going to try it on the original, just directly from the disc, because that's how you would have done it back in the day, and I want to get the original Rogue DOS experience. So, uh, yeah, let me get it set up, and, you know, the camera and stuff, so it's got a nice little moody look at the CRT, and let's play some Rogue for the first time, for me. All right, it is time to finally give this a shot. I am excited. Okay, a directory listing here, and looks like we got some files dated 85 and 86. Some different executables, and a saved game. I didn't realize you could save a game on Rogue, but okay. Maybe it's just saving something else, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. Fantastic little startup screen there. Rogue the Adventure Game. The Game of Rogue. Designed by Michael Dwayne, and Glenn Wichman. Wichman? Mm. Various implementations by other folks. And is adapted by the uh, AI design team for Epics. So, I guess we'll just put in my name. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, LGR. Welcome to the Dungeons of Doom. And yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is Rogue. I found 51 gold pieces. 
I'm assuming that is a creature. Yeah, you barely missed the bat. Hmm. The bat scored an excellent hit on you. Oh, crap. Well, I probably should figure out uh, <laughs> how to swing things. It looks like I'm... Do I? Yeah, okay. I've injured the bat. Do I have a weapon? No, that's my question. Uh, let's see here. Aha. So, list of commands, F1. I figured. Oh, there's so many things. Oh, man, a second page. Okay, uh, so yeah, let's see here. Arrow keys, of course. We have rest. Supervisor key. So that's like a, like a boss mode. So basically that was just something to, yeah, make it look like you're doing work in DOS. doop a doop a doop a doop It doesn't actually do anything, you know, DOS-like, but yeah, it's just so you can... If you're playing this at work, <laughs> your supervisor or your boss comes by, that's what that's for. List of symbols, okay. Ah, here we go. That is helpful. So you are the hero. The amulet of Yendor. Ah, I like how that's just right there. Uh, I got the scroll, food, piece of armor, staff. Da -da -da -da. A to Z are different monsters. Blinking staircases, walls, tramps. Okay, I just need to know about weapons. So, um... Here it is. Wield a weapon. Eat food, quaff potion, search for... <laughs> and some of these are caps, too. My goodness, so many controls. And there is a save game thing. That's weird. What does that even do? Ah, it's cap capital S. Ah, uh, interesting. I, I mean, I... Okay, well... <laughs> It's doing something to the disc. Uh, don't worry, I've already backed it up and everything. I just quit! Okay. You know, the learning experience is real. That's why I wanted to do this, because, uh, you know, i got to do this before I do any kind of reviewing or anything. I love that screen. Okay. So, yeah, i got a totally different map here, of course. That is the whole appeal of Rogue. You just get regenerated areas every single time. You now have a scroll titled Kumvak B. Okay. I'm being attacked by a Kestrel. So W is wield. Aha! So I do have a mace. Interesting. I already have it. Oh. I have defeated the Kestrel. I just pressed towards the direction of it. Well, cool, whatever. So I know I have a mace. That's good. Now I can start to wander around. I now have a slime mold. <laughs> uh, one of my, my, is that my inventory? Yeah, I is the inventory, of course. Some food, slime mold, a scroll. Don't... I genuinely don't know what to do. What? You can rename it? I didn't mean to. Uh, I mean, obviously. <laughs> a scroll called farts. Well, that's good to know. Um, I am so lost, man. This is great. <laughs> Takes me back to like being a kid playing weird old text mode DOS games and just having no idea what to do. I love it. All right, so I just want to know how to use something in my inventory. Go down a staircase, cancel, quaff. That's a thing. Wear armor. Drop object, find something, read paper. Oh my. Identify trap key, zap, control R, insert to find something, rename something. Oh, I was trying to select it in the inventory by pressing C, because that was the letter it was, and apparently that was to rename it as well. We can also check the version. Okay, so we got 1.49. Mr. McTesk was here. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. So those are doors, and these lead to little hallways. This is so much uh, very similar to all the other, you know, like hack games and other things that were roguelikes that came after this. Roguelikes, not liked. It's a different thing. He scored an excellent hit on the Kestrel. Wow, that is one hit kill. 
Nice. Oh dear, another Kestrel. Kestrel hit me, a swing and miss. It injured me, no. Got him. I have like nothing left. I'm assuming that is my hit points, hits. Yeah, like, it'd be great if I knew how to eat food. Okay, let's try to eat food. How do I eat? <laughs> okay, it's time to reference the manual. What do I do here? Okay, and let's see. <sighs> Picking up objects, yeah. You move over it. I figured that out. <laughs> I just need to know how to... Using objects. Okay, here we go. Everything you encounter... Uh, to drop it, press D. La, da, da. Q is for potions. Okay, do I have any potions? I got a slime mold and a scroll. What about food? E is for eating food. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, so I can eat the mold. I ate the food, it tastes awful, but I got a hit point. Wow, that's awful. I'm gonna eat the mold. My, that was yummy slime mold. I feel bloated and fell asleep, oh no. Well, thankfully the Kestrel didn't hurt me while I was asleep, but I still only have four points. Does it take time to... Yeah, it does. It takes time to regenerate. Look, I was just moving around and my hit points were going up. There it is. It went up. Magic. Or just, you know, healing. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's starting to click now. Again, it's like so familiar. I kind of know, you know what to expect having played so many rogue likes over the years. It's just the particulars of this one have always eluded me. I've just never given it a shot. And now it's like, okay. Starting to see a little bit. Oh, what is that? I was moving too fast. An emu. <laughs> An emu? Oh no, I defeated the emu. I wish you could loot their bodies or they would like drop something cool. They don't seem to. I guess that's just giving me points. Suck it, Kestrel. Yeah. Ooh, I leveled up. I achieved the rank of Guild Novice. Oh, some hit points went up pretty drastically. I wasn't paying attention to these other things. Maybe they did. Yay, gold. I now got another scroll. Oh my goodness. Ravkod... Dick. <laughs> Yay, Jeff. <laughs> Ooh, a bat. And a hobgoblin. Oh man, these creatures. These alphabet creatures. Like, I don't want to go too fast because I'm going to have something run into me or something, you know? It'd suck. And I don't know about, like, finding hidden things. I saw there were buttons for that, you know? Uh, but... <laughs> Identify traps. List what has been discovered. What does that do? Oh, haven't discovered anything about any potions. A scroll called farts. No rings, no sticks. Sticks? I saw something about like, yeah, search for secret. That's what I wanted to. Oh, what is that? An emu? Another emu. Well, I didn't mean to press that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how the searching for secrets works or whatever, so I'm just gonna go to the next area, which is... That's the staircase button. It was brackets, right? The way is magically blocked? Oh! I can do that, though. So I'm down here now. 
another scroll. Ooh, dark room. <laughs> this is so cool, man. Oh my goodness. This would have been like the best mainframe game ever. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Move diagonally. This keypad actually doesn't have a numpad. Or this keyboard doesn't have a numpad. I'm playing with a Model M SSK, so I don't even know if it can move diagonally, but I was doing that. <laughs> move diagonally and the, the emu hit me. Oh, Hobgoblin. Die. Excellent hit. Ooh, achieved the rank of apprentice. Dang, I'm doing all right, man. I think I got something here, too. What was that? Nope. So I got scrolls. I got ringmail armor. What? Being worn. So that's cool. Uh, G for short bow. I just want to. I want to try this. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't know how bows work in this. Are there separate controls for bows? I didn't see any uh, thing. Uh huh. And why is the any key definable? <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> Defines the any key. Uh, so, uh... You can throw things. I mean, I don't want to throw the bow. I want to shoot it. <laughs> Maybe... It works the same as Mace's. Ooh, branching bands. Little tiny room. Any secrets in here? Okay. Okay, what is this? Ice monster. Swings and hits me. Yeah, see, like. Oh, I got frozen. I would like to hit him from a distance since I've got a bow. I thought I could maybe do that, but uh, ten arrows. Can I wield? I, okay, I'm wielding arrows. What does that mean, though? <laughs> oh, the cryptic nonsense. Okay, let's try to kill this Kestrel with the bow. How does this work? <sighs> Oh man, there's all sorts of different command line options in here I'm just now seeing. So the save game or the save file. Yeah, for saving and restoring games, but... How? And why? Wait, so restarts a new game using a game saved in... Oh, so I guess it's a way to replay a map? Not necessarily saving your progress in here. That's what I was thinking, because it's kind of the whole point of this, is to just die and restart, you know? But I suppose if you play the same map over and over, that's an option. I, I'm assuming that's what that means. I don't know, man. Like, I know so little about this right now, it's great. There's a... F what? Fruit? File? Determines what kind of fruit you'll find in the dungeons. Oh, that's what the options program is for, the make opt Executable. I suppose. I was thinking of some kind of options, but <laughs> you can change all sorts of weird little parameters. Dude, this is so cool, man. I would have loved this back in the day. All right. <laughs> these, these, these controls. This is ridiculous. So many things. Um, yeah, so you do just literally go around pressing S to find secrets or trap doors or whatever, hidden traps and secret doors in areas... Adjacent to you. Let me just try to kill this Kestrel really quick. Got him. Now I have a white potion. Okay. It looks like my uh, my hit points are just going up too. I just noticed by just simply moving around, which is cool. They are automatically regenerating. I don't know if that's from the food I ate earlier. But now I have uh, full hit points again, 28. So that's neat. Quaff one of the potions you're carrying. 
Let's just drink this one, see what that is. I feel stronger, what bulging muscles. All the better to beat you with. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I have the, like, the urge to just press S everywhere until I find a secret, but I don't even know. Maybe that's still not how it works. What? Is there just nothing here? Feels like that should be a secret. That's just a weird ending. What's all that about? I'm gonna wield my mace again because I can't figure out this bow right now. Ooh! Scary, dude. Hobgoblin came out of nowhere. And I achieved the rank of journeyman. Dang, dude, just leveling up all over the place. This is awesome. I'm so good at this. <laughs> nope. Uh, okay. What is that? A piece of armor. Just a piece. I now have splint mail. Hmm. How do I wear armor? Oh, dang it, no. I don't want to, I don't want to. Armor button. It's in here somewhere. I know it, I know it, I saw it earlier. Uh, wear armor is capital W, okay. I'm already wearing some, you have to take, oh, you have to take off the armor first. <laughs> capital T, takes off armor, okay. Took it off. Took it off. And now I'm wearing splint mail. Nice. Armor class seven, it's a plus a zero. I guess it's crappy splint mail, but it is what it is. Yeah, I got armor seven now, so that's cool. Killed a bat. I guess that's it. This seems like a weird dead end, man. Is that just a thing? Is that, does that happen? Oh, another emu. Hobgoblins. Jeez, this guy's got bats. Oh, a whole nother level to this place. 37 gold. I still don't know how to use the bow. Ah. Okay. Movement. Objects. Mastering your weapons. Here we go. Okay, so, uh... You can use long-range weapons. I know. How do I do it? Wands or staffs may be used to zap them. Press T to throw or Z to zap. Okay. Okay, to use your bow to kill a hobgoblin, for instance. Type W to put down the mace and select a new weapon. Then type the appropriate letter to pick up the bow. Right. So I can, I, yeah, I mean... I got it. So I got that much. Type T to throw an arrow. So it is the throw command. <laughs> well, that's just... Oh my goodness. That's the arrow I threw. It's just over there. That's silly. It, like, threw all ten of them. <laughs> Okay, so F3 repeats the last set of commands. Yeah, I saw some mentions of macros and some other things in here. Yeah, default macro for the F9 function key. Oh, that's the any key, I guess. Goodness, the cryptic craziness. Dude, this is just classic, classic DOS experience. I guess classic mainframe experience, but well, yeah, I don't know how different this is from, like, a mainframe version of Rogue. Uh, whenever I do get around to do, like, a history video on this, I want to see if I can find a version of that that's, like, emulated somewhere that I can try out. But, okay, let's try this. Throw ten arrows. <laughs> that seems... I, I, I should probably just... I don't understand this. Why do I need to throw all ten of them? Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I totally killed them. Do I still have ten? I have nine now, so it takes away. But yet, when I did this... Oh, well, no, no, that... Oh, I now have nine arrows. Okay, I was just seeing 
the message saying 10 arrows earlier and <laughs> I thought it was throwing all 10, which would be really dumb. Uh, okay, so I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> Die. It's a slime. Oh, how D&D. Okay, so let's try that again. F3, death feed to the slime. Dude, that's awesome. So it took those commands for opening up the inventory, choosing the arrows, and tossing them that way, and just mapped it to F3. That's just the last. So I guess whatever I did last, F3 will do it. So if I'm pressing right, oh, dude, that's really cool. Okay, so that takes away some of the cumbersome nature of some of these controls for sure. If you just you know know what you're doing, uh, throw that way. Defeated the Kestrel. Dude, this is this is so cool. Like the more I'm figuring out, then I can just you know my gears, my head gears, they're rotating and connecting with other cogs, and it's just amazing. <laughs> this kind of thing, dude. Oh man. Yeah. Got the ice monster. The dick. Got a new potion. I don't know what all these do. Let's just drink some potions, man. Let's quaff them. Quaff that green potion. What does that do? What? Shows me where the monsters are. That is nuts. Let's quaff the other one. I feel very sick. What? Well, dang it. Well, at least I can see where the monsters are. Look at that. You can see them moving around like... There's ice monsters, kestrels, ah, oh, and it's gone. Well, I wonder if there's a way to like see ongoing status effects. I'm sure there is. It seems like every key on the daggum keyboard does something. Just, you know, like it's such a simple game, but yet it's not. Like there's a lot more under the hood, it seems. Once you do get a hang of all what's going on, this is, it seems like a highly in-depth experience for what it is. This is so, I don't know. Like you can see why a million things wanted to copy this and like improve upon it, tweak it. I can't, makes sense. Uh, let's go back to the mace, I suppose. Ah. Dude, die already, jeez. I have to eat some food. Yum, that food tasted good. Well, good. Another staircase. See, this feels like it should go somewhere, right? Oh, I pressed S and the door opened. Okay. Uh, it's so neat. Oh my goodness. So that is great. It's this kind of thing that just gets my imagination going and makes me feel like this is an endless world inside of a screen. It's so neat. Ooh, die. These kestrels are getting insane. I only got two hit points left. What is this garbage? I'm about to run, man. Stop following me. Okay, well, I guess I'm about to whip out the short bow. That way, with my plus zero arrows. <laughs> I defeated a man. The arrows uh, seem to be doing a whole lot better than my mace. Oh my goodness. See, I ran right into Hobgoblin, wasn't even paying attention. What is this garbage? I'm going to toss things that way. Oh no, does that mean I'm dead? I died. Welp. Rest in peace. Got killed by a hobgoblin. I don't know what that means, but maybe 263 is my score. Guildmasters Hall of Fame. Gold. Oh, you're rated by gold for your score. Anyway, that's it for this video, I suppose. Dang, I have been playing for 30 some minutes? What? I could have sworn it was like 15. Uh, that's Rogue. <laughs> Rogue for DOS. Literally my first time playing it. There is a lot to figure out and learn and master, I'm sure. 
I, I, there's no way I scratched the surface of like, I didn't even find any uh, uh, magical things, you know? You could zap stuff, wands or whatever. I'm sure that's much later, but anyway, definitely gonna continue figuring this game out so that I can eventually do a retrospective on it. Because, I mean, it's just such a legendary thing and like having so many roguelikes and having not played the original. So, anyway, that's corrected. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.